welcome to our tv for the seventh lesson in the program teaching english to the sheep and understanding india as a nation and its history as i said agriculture animals human beings and then the industrial processes that human being started starting with leather pot making weaving tilling the land and you know iron smithing wool smithing bronze smithing and so on now how did our villages form without villages there cannot be cities is a very simple system the villages are a congregation of human beings as families as relatives as friends they form together and build houses at one place they look for good water resource mostly the villages in the early days were formed around river beds because the rivers provided water or on the sea coast but the difference between the rivers and the sea is that river water is very tasty and it does not have salt like the sea water sea water is full of salt which human beings cannot drink and cannot survive whereas fish survive other animals in the sea water survive plants survive but human beings and the land animals like sheep goat buffaloes bulls cows uh you know elephants or giraffe even tigers uh, any animal cannot drink sea water because of its huge amount of salt in it therefore they depend on rain water when the rain water uh gets into a low end area and becomes a stream or a river that water taste and its uh, you know uh, mineral components will be very useful for human body and human being and animals can survive around that water so villages were formed around the river beds or around small you know streams but as i said over a period of time people themselves made tanks you know uh history tells us that uh, when arappa city was built women understood the nature of water storing and the need for water storing and they built you know water tanks in arappa kind of cities now that is the reason why in telugu regions you know on the tank bed there is a goddess called katta maisamma so that means it was this maisamma who could have been the first engineer who planned for a tank bed so around tanks now villages exist or after the villages are settled they build a tank now around the villages you can see small small agrarian gods and goddess temples but this the most important component of village is the agrarian production as i said and then kitchen now in order to see that 
the production survives and the kitchen and the home survives you needed to have different small scale industrial units in the village and these experts in each industrial unit let us say an expert who can make leather ropes a person who skins the dead body of cattle and sees that the skin does not you know contain lots of holes or it get doesn't get spoiled then it is converted into leather leather into ropes bags so without this technology village could not have survived but unfortunately the leather technologists or what we call leather industry engineers were condemned as untouchable with this our knowledge suffered a lot if you condemn an engineer as an untouchable or a doctor as an untouchable then the knowledge system gets a suff- lot of you know uh, setback that's what happened so then the pot maker without pot making no human being would have lived in a modern form or in a very uh, comfortable form by eating just roasted food in the fire so the pot maker is should not be treated as low caste this caste business has destroyed our energies talents and human potential and science caste system has become anti science agent so take for example iron smith gold smith weaver or you know wool cutting so these all these people were divided into caste and uh, they tried to project that those who work around temple here or this and that Uh, they are only the superior no it is not like each work has its own thing but the fundamental work is village industry without that uh, say if you just look at villages if there are uh, village temples are not people survive there are number of villages which don't have any temple at all you have tribal areas uh they believe in god they 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 appeal to god in their own language but there are no temples or there are no priests around yet people survive survived for centuries so what happened is that villages were formed 10 houses 20 houses 30 houses 100 houses and as village was becoming bigger all early what we call cottage industries cottage is a shed a industry forms in that small shed or as i said house is a small industry the kitchen is a, a, a food uh, making industry so this industrial networking first happened in our villages now this as a huge technological knowledge we will see in future how there would not have been computer without there being a pot without there being a iron smithing technology without there being a gold smithing technology see technology begins at one level and as human being keeps on working new interactions new no- knowledge is the technology grows upwards it is not just book reading or uh, uh, telling a poem or singing a song that alone is more important no more than that this these issues are more important these technological knowledge are knowledges are fundamental now that's so when all these books were not there when all these songs were not there all these movies were not there people were surviving in villages how they were producing food 
they were producing goods they were converting that food items into kitchen based uh, edible food so human being was living but their longevity of life was short because they did not get enough protein food they did not get medical attention they did not have education to increase their knowledge they did not have schools schools are very very important sharing knowledge teaching knowledge of these uh, animals human beings their work their culture their relationships and the industries that uh, they they formed this becomes central for human survival and long living take for example india when we got independence in 1947 our average life span was about 40 years today on an average some people die early some people die very late 90 100 but on on an average indians are living around 70 years so 30 years we increased human life how because of education because of you know health systems because of increased technology but if caste system was not to be there if there was no caste in india we would have become more richer than america we would have become better than europe we would have established better schools and universities we would have become better than china this caste system uh, put us backward and our control on women's knowledge women's skills women's equality take for example very funny thing you know men said that when woman is menstruating or when she gives childbirth she should be treated as untouchable this is absolutely unscientific as i said without mud there is no food so without a woman menstruates there cannot be a childbirth so that is a sacred thing so when when a child bo is born from mother's stomach there will be fluids all around that's not very bad that's not bad thing at all it's good that so child survives with the fluids in the stomach mother stomach so they said you know these are all pollution these are all untouchable this is absolutely ignorance absolutely anti human thinking anti production thinking if you don't touch mud how do you convert mud into food it's not possible so our villagers did that villagers did not care these theories they said without producing food nobody can survive so they went on a uh, building up cottage industries small scale industries and human relations between each other but they suddenly projected something called caste into it okay if you are making leather you should be outside the village no that was wrong or if you are making pots you should be here if you are a iron smith you should be there if you are a book reading person you should be on the top this is absolutely bad thing no book reading is not i i write books i read books book reading is not a great uh, difficult task than tilling the land or making a pot they are more difficult things they are more scientific things so this is a training that i got therefore i cannot uh, say that i am superior to others this kind of knowledge somehow was injected into our villages so if our villages overcome this and start writing about what is a leather industry who makes leather tools what is the greatness of that men and women who do that who makes pots what is the greatness who makes iron tools who tills the land and what is the 
kind of love they have towards animal that should not be linked to uh, who eats meat who doesn't eat meat loving animal is the fundamental thing to feed it to see that it drinks water therefore in our villages these systems are now alive so we should completely give up caste practices we should completely give up human untouchability practices touchability untouchability the god did not create these things these are absolutely selfish human beings who did not want to work but get food without work they created all these problems so this actually made india backward now by listening these lessons you will learn a new idea a new in about a new india about a new village india new science and technology in the village new friendship between animals and human beings and new friendships between men and women in the kitchen at home thank you uh, later on we will have our uh, eighth lesson uh, in future thank you subscribe 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 rtv rtv telugu rtv rtv telugu rtv telugu rtv telugu